Hey everyone, welcome into another episode of Talkin' Grizz. This is a very special and kind of off the cuff episode because we have Mr. John Conchar, one of the newest re-signed Grizzlies. So you just signed, re-signed a four-year deal with the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, John, first off, like let's just start by what, when you put that pen to the paper, tell me about the experience. What was that moment like? Um, I mean, it was awesome. Just coming from uh, just being undrafted, just going straight to Memphis, and uh, just all the hard work, really, and just signing the signing it really just, it was a great op- or awesome opportunity, and it was awesome. Yeah. What do you do? Like, how? Okay, when you know that something's on the brisk of happening, what what do you do in the morning? How do you prepare for that? Um, I mean, I wake up and just kind of do the same thing I do every day. I feel I like know. that's not true. You must have like celebrated somehow. Like you didn't wake up and like eat cold oatmeal. Like you did something. Um, I might have had like a muffin or something. I didn't do anything. No, it's kind of just, yeah. I don't know. Just signed it and the work starts again. What'd you do after you signed it? Uh, my FaceTime my mom, pretty much, and she, she was. She seemed like she was about to start crying. So it was. It was pretty adorable. That's really sweet. What was she saying? Um, just that she's proud of me and she always believed in me. Okay, so let's talk about that journey. You signed a two-way contract with the Grizzlies slash Hustle last year. Um, you appeared in 19 games with the Grizzlies last year. You shot 65% from the field, 50% from the three, started all 20 of those G League games. And then it obviously paid off and you were able to sign a four year contract with the Grizzlies this year. What's the biggest thing you learned in that two way contract year? Um, just keep working hard every single day and you'll get an opportunity. Um, I just kind of went, we started out in the G League and just kind of learned the system really well down there because they both do run the same offense really in defense. So kind of just went through it worked hard, played hard, and got my opportunity later in the season and just ran with it. Is there a game that you look back at last year with the Grizzlies or the Hustle even that you feel like you really kind of came into your own? Um, I mean, I'd probably say the Lakers game. Um, It was a a pretty good game that I played, just doing like a little bit of everything, Um, knocking down that three. I think that was my first three too in the NBA and that really helped me out just from a confidence standpoint and just kind of ran with it after that. Um, I know the three you're talking about. I also know the block on Dwight Howard that I would have preferred you to bring up, but <laughs> I digress. Um, all right. You were getting your real estate license in the bubble. Is this still a thing? Will you continue that? Uh, yeah, I still have to take the test, but um, yeah, I'm still on pace to do, or get it done here soon. There was something like 60 something hours that you had to put in in order to, you know, take that final test. What hour are you at? Uh, I'm in the end of the 50s. I think it's 62. And you had mentioned that you were doing it because your mom was thinking of doing it. Is she still doing it? Um, so she hasn't started. I, I kind of did it just so like she would start it doing it. She hasn't yet. Uh, she's still enjoying like retirement for maybe another little bit. And then maybe I can get her into it again. That's so funny. Okay, I have a couple more things and I am gonna let you go. You, in August, launched your own collection of clothing. I, I'm gonna call it the Jitty Collection. I don't know what you call it. It's like the Jitty Clothing Line because Jitty is your word and unofficially your middle name, even though I know it's Joseph. Um, okay, what was the decision behind that? Uh, launching the clothing brand? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> it was, I think it was March when the whole coronavirus kind of came came into the United States and um, I had a guy hit me up and was like, hey, you want to put this on like a, a shirt and kind of like run with it and do something with it? And I was like, hey, might as well and just try, try to be creative and try to do something with it. So I, uh, I think I was shirts, long sleeves, hats and sweatshirts, super comfy actually. And uh, yeah, I think we launched when we were in the bubble, around bubble time by the beginning of it. And there's a nice website with all of it. And yeah, it's, a, it's it's been pretty cool. I've seen some people that I didn't even know that you knew or knew you, and they like show up in my timeline or on Instagram, like their stories, and they're wearing a Jitty shirt. I'm like, John Conchar taking over the world. Yeah, it's Jitty worldwide, you know? <laughs> Devin actually just walked by, and I think we were both wondering 
like if we get a friends and family discount or something. Yeah, I, I did tell Devin I'd give him one. So I guess I have to give you one too. I got you. I'm so happy that just happened. I can't wait to feel how comfortable <laughs> they are. Let's go back to basketball really quick. Um, I mentioned that you had started all 20 games in the G League that you played in last year um, and appeared in 19 games with the Grizzlies. What role do you see yourself playing this year on the team? Um, just a role that comes off the bench and does a little bit of everything. Uh, I've been working on my three-point shot a lot more and just corner threes and threes anywhere, but specifically corners a lot. Um, just get, being a knockdown shooter and just trying to get a roll through all that and go with it. There's in every offseason, I know this offseason has been a little wonky and not like the norm, but in every offseason, there's always like something that each player works on that they feel like they need to improve. You've talked about the three and specifically the corner three. Why was that something you kind of emphasized this year? Um, Because the NBA has just gone three point line heavily the last couple of years, I'd say. And I think just to st stay around the NBA, I just need to be a knockdown three point shooter. And yeah, just, I mean, that just will con or complement my game even more. And just with do doing that and then shooting or playing defense well and just doing a lot of other things, the hustle, yeah. Training camp officially kind of begins in the next week or so. Are you excited? Yeah, it's gonna be nice having all of us back into the same facility and just all out just playing again. Yeah, very excited. What if okay, you have to nail down one thing. This is the last question. So nail down one thing, make sure it's a really great answer to end with. The one thing that you're most looking forward to just like having basketball back, being back with the team, being in FedEx Forum. One thing. Um just competing. Is that a great word? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um I would say just yeah, competing against our teammates or my teammates. Um just having fun and just keep working. Okay, I feel like I do this to you every single time we speak because I say, this is the last question, and I'm like, actually, I have a follow-up. Who is the one person that you're most excited to compete with? Say that again? Who is the one person that you're most excited to compete with? Um, let's go Dylan Brooks. Why? Because he's super competitive, and just watching him throughout the year, uh, it's fun watching him. He goes hard all the time, and yeah. It'll be fun. Is there anything that you've learned from Dylan in the last year playing with him and playing alongside him in practice? Um, that he's just nonstop just going. And yeah, he just he works hard every single day. And just, yeah, it's, really, it's fun to watch every single day. All right. Well, we look forward to watching you compete and practice and play every day. Congratulations again on your contract. We wish you luck in your real estate license and we appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Okay, say, like, just like the podcast, you have to sign it off and say, stay jitty, everyone. Or something better than that. Stay jitty and jitty out. <laughs>